Right, this morning I've been sent a Light of Motion Solar Dive 1200 in for repair. So we'll have a quick look at this one. Doesn't look in bad condition. Charging terminals are slightly discoloured, but that can be cleaned up nice and easily. The I can also see immediately that this. Uh, light module is installed incorrectly so it's been installed in probably flight mode or something like that so they're saying it's dead so uh, let's just open it up and see why the modules not so the modules spinning oh, well that's easy enough so as you can see they fitted the head. The light module. And when they've taken it apart and refitted it, they've bent all the pins. That's a good reason for it not to be working. There's actually no reason anymore on the modern ones to actually remove this. So on the the situation used to be that that would fit in there like that and if you were going to go on an aircraft or airplane then you take it and put it into flight mode and then the pins would fit into there. So I'm guessing when they fitted that in they've bent all those pins. So we'll have a go at straightening those and see if that will be a simple fix. Just going to have a look inside just to see anything else. So the cover comes off, the battery cover, circuit board cover. You can then dig the four power connection wires out and disconnect the battery. And we can then remove the circuit board and the battery. So inside the light in the housing that all looks remarkably clean. The battery looks in good condition so that's all good and the circuit board looks in good condition. This is a slightly older circuit board because it has this moisture strip here. Um, that moisture strip is there that if it senses any moisture in the housing then it would, it would switch the power off and stop the light from working. Uh, these are now no longer fitted and they can actually just be cut off but I won't do that but it's it just it's obviously a slightly older one. It's come in with an American charger on it so I'm guessing the users purchased it from the States. But what I'll do is I will get a new head and just test it works with the new head. Just going to get a new 1200 module, LED module, and we'll just test to see if the light is working. Just going to move the magnet across the sensor. So the light now comes on. So there's charge in the battery.
that appears to be working okay so I'm just going to reassemble the lights with the correct head so on assembly there's if you look into there you'll see there's two charging pins at the bottom and there's two pads on this circuit board and those two pads need to go in behind those two charging pins so you have to put the board in a slight angle push that behind the charging pins then hold that with one finger like this and you've got to be careful with these circuit boards you don't because these um, LED dashboard LED here um, go down through to the circuit board you don't want to drag the circuit board upwards and damage the LED so you al always bring it in slightly from the center and then push it closer to these LED um, light settings here which hopefully you can see those those three settings there so just push that into place like that hold that into place and then you can refit the battery pack into place and reconnect the power and then just poke the wires back down so they're out of the way so once it's in that condition we can then refit the battery cover refit the LED oh sorry the o-ring I'm going to grease that and sort that in a moment because I'm not going to put it into water I'm going to fit the new LED module just for the moment and put the head on this is just to test the light works make sure we're happy with the lights working and as you can see the light comes on okay not not going into okay so this is an older model so this is not going into the uh, spot it's only doing flood but I'm not worried about that at this moment in time so that's all working just going to charge the light up whilst I'm working on the other part see if the charging circuit works so the LED the charger has gone red and the LEDs dashboard LEDs are flashing across here and if you can see the flashing that well on here and that's just indicating that they're charging up but as I, the end user sent me an American charger I'm not going to use that because I'm not in America so I just have to hope and see that works so I'm just going to gently Try and bend these pins back into position. I so I don't know why you would take this apart. There's no need to. But if they're fitted incorrectly, then they will bend. This can be unsoldered from here, so all's not lost. If I can't straighten them, I can unsolder these and I've probably got a spare connection somewhere so I think we'll get away with this one without having to re do a replacement for the LED module just see how gentle we can be with them
if one's going to snap, it would be the last one, I suspect. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to get an old circuit board. new circuit board so as you can see this is a newer type of circuit board same model number but doesn't have the moisture strip attached here anymore just going to try and line those up so on this chop block here the pins go into the top set of holes just see if we can I'm going to put it the wrong way around for a minute. I'm not powering it up. Just going to see if I can make sure the pins are sitting correctly. Which they don't seem to be. So it looks like we can actually put that back together again. So we'll disconnect the light. So the charging's all working. The circuit board's all working. Right, whilst I remember, I'm going to grease the O-ring. Doesn't need huge amounts of grease on it. Make sure the O rings back in place. Remove my LED module. So that's all good. We can also, whilst we're here, just give the lens a quick wipe. It doesn't look like there's any finger marks on it, but we might have stuck a fingerprint on it or something. Just give that a nice wipe down. Refit the reflector. We've got to reassemble that, and that's gone back into place quite nicely. And we screw the bezel back on and with a bit of luck. So we've got this flood wall working, going up and down, and the spots are now working. So this light is all in good condition. So if I hold it forward for four seconds, it goes into lock mode and you get the, the three flashing lights and now the light won't come on. You just get the three flashing lights all the time. So there's no need to open that and move that bezel round. So unfortunately they, they sort of damaged it for no reason at all, to be honest. Um, and just hold it for four seconds and then you get three flashing lights, but everything else on the light is working perfect so we'll leave that on charge uh, just fully charge it and then we'll actually whilst I'm there I can just quickly um, clean that up slightly so all I do for this just get a little bit of wire wool roll it into a to a ball, pop it in the hole and just spin it round and just take off
clean up the charging pin ends. Probably don't need it. That's a bit cleaner. Make sure it's just charging. So the LEDs are still flashing, going across there. So that's all working. I should leave that on charge. Then I put it in a bucket of water and run it down and charge it again, just to make sure. But other than that, I think that's absolutely fine. So, that will go back to them. Thanks very much for watching.